In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a five-pointed star design with Spirograph. This five-pointed star is a nice one for Christmas decorations, 4th of July, and so on. We're going to use the ring number 150 over 105. The 105 means there's 105 teeth on the inside, and that's what counts for us. And we're going to use wheel number 63. To fix the ring to the paper, I'm using putty. This is called Spiro putty in the new Spirograph sets, but it's really just poster putty, which you can get at any stationery store. So if you have an old set, instead of using the tiny holes and the fussy little pins and needing a, something you can stick the pins into, you just go to a store and buy some poster putty and use that instead. Just little bits on the inside of the ring between the rows of teeth because the rows of teeth are thicker and you want the ring to lie close to the paper. So we'll just put that down and press it down firmly on top of the putty and it's good and secure. So now I'm going to take ring or wheel number 63 because it makes a five-pointed design and I'm going to line up hole number one with a mark on the ring. It doesn't matter which mark unless you're particular about which way your star is pointing on your particular design that you're making. I'm going to use the dark blue pen to start. I'm going to make this in a rainbow of colors, but you could do it in any colors, Christmassy colors, uh, Fourth of July colors, all one color if you want, whatever your project desires. And I'm using Stabilo 0.88 pens. They're felt tip pens, fine tip, and they are my favorite for Spirograph. So with hole number one and the pen in there, I'm going to go around the circle, letting the wheel guide me and the hole and the pen. This takes a little, whoa, this takes a little practice, but once you get it, I think it's like riding a bike. You'll remember it forever. That circular motion and I'm going to make a different I'm going to make this pattern grow and use a different color for every pattern so to make it grow now I'm going to go to hole number three so first I used hole number one now I'm going to use hole number three and line it up with the same mark and draw the design with a slightly different color this is a lighter blue and so it makes the pattern grow a bit. Now I'm going to take the next color, which is a purple. And I'm going to take hole number five. So I'm using the odd numbers. One, three, five. Line it up with the mark on the ring and draw the design. And you can see now the pattern is growing. And the colors are close enough together that they are creating a kind of a rainbow. So now hole number seven, lining it up in the same spot. Go around. Then switch colors again. Hole number nine, line it up in the same spot. Draw the pattern. We're moving towards red now with a kind of purpley color. Now hot pink. So line up hole number 11. Always the odd number holes is what I'm using on this pattern. And now a kind of a burgundy. Hole number 13. And you can see how the pattern is growing. Each loop now is fatter, but it's further in towards the middle. So you get a pointy star, but with more fleshed out rainbow colors. 15 with the red and then three more colors the orange 17 with the orange and then with the peach color um, 19 I have to be very careful now because 19 goes through another hole before you get to the mark up here on the ring so make sure you have it lined up correctly and you use the right hole. It's good to double check. And then for final 
color. It's the yellow. And I'm using hole number 21. That's the last one. And yellow gives designs a kind of inner glow. But it's harder to see it. It's more of the overall effect. So finishing off with the yellow gives the pattern a nice inner glow. And that's it. That's ring number 15105 from the Spirograph, either the old Spirograph or the newer Spirographs. Um, they both work. They're compatible with each other. And wheel number 63 gives you a nice five-pointed star. I can just remove the remove it from that and that could be used in all kinds of crafts or greeting cards or maybe give your students at school a star for good work they've done. Have fun! You can see more of this on spirographicart.com.